Hello peeps and welcome to the best PlayStation games ever. This is the first of the nine discs that were released for the best games ever series by the official UK PlayStation magazine. This is SCED 02327. Uh, ten playable content, some of which are quite long, so uh, we're going to be here for more than an hour this time, most likely. So, yeah, we got Ape Escape, Cool Borders Free, Crash Bandicoot Free, Driver, Gran Turismo, IS's Pro 98, Metal Gear Solid, Ridge Racer Type 4, Tekken Free, Tomb Raider Free, and we're back at Ape Escape. So let's get started with Ape Escape. I should mention I've been challenged as well on one of the driving games, either Gran Turismo or um, Ridge Racer Type 4. Um, there's a pack of four Red Bull waiting for me if I get a perfect lap on any of the games. I was challenged by my friend uh, Nitro Boost 245 a uh, good friend of the, the channels, uh, especially in the anti-gravity uh, community. So, um, yeah. So he will get me a pack of four when we next meet in London. So, uh that should be interesting. That's if I get a perfect lap, so a perfect lap being no collision. Anyway, we're on to Ape Escape. Escape. All right, here we go. Capture three monkeys. Yep. Here we go. Yep, I know. Oh, there you go, Oh. Ah, come on. Bollocks. Can't catch us, last guy. Come here, you fuck. Okay, fuck you then. Where have you gone? There you are. Got ya, there you go. Right, beat the first level, which I think there's only two in this demo anyway, so it's going to be over pretty quickly. Well, no, there's three actually. Oh, didn't mean to skip that. Yeah. All right. New gadget is completed. Oh yeah, the water net. Oh yeah, okay, so this is the second of three levels. If there's more levels, I haven't ever been able to find them. So we'll just do the, the normal that we've done before. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, come on. There we go. Here we go. Got one. Two. One left. How do I rotate the cabin? Take the camera. It's a little bit annoying. Oh, he's there. Got him. That's it really. I'm going to start select here. So we did all three levels, uh, at least as far as I know. So I'm going to move on. Next up, Cold Water 3. Let's see how this goes, probably like shit, but hey. Ow. 
Ah. Uh, Oi. Not very nice, was it? Ow. That was quite a horrible drop, that one. Not last though. Oh, now we are. Damn. Oh, that didn't land! Fuck! Oh, I only just lost. Not that I got it out though. Sorry! Ah, well... That was one of the more better runs we've had on that game, so, you know, I don't care. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Alright, next up is Crash Bandicoot 3. This one is relatively short as well. Two games down. Eight to go. This video will probably exceed one hour. How do I slam down again? Oh, I've got an ace slam down. Oh, analog work. Oh fuck, how do I slam down again? Okay, exit circle. Sorry, just have to remember. It's been a minute. It's analog work, it's cool.
então. Well, the analog is really sensitive on this county. Okay, now. Hey, there you go. Ninety apples. Yeah, we miss one box, we always do. I know where it is as well, I just, you know, I just don't want to kill myself trying to get it. Next up is... Driver. Oh, yeah, got to reset every time we play this game, don't we? The problem is, is it just the police chase demo? The one where we just go down the motorway and that's it, game over. That's how we win every time. <laughs> Learning time to be optimized. Give it a go! Yeah! Playable demo mission. voice said it, but that guy looks like Makarov from uh, Modern Warfare. Like the original game, not the, the, the reboot. Yeah, it's this one. I actually missed the turning there. You're gonna fail, okay? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Way too much traffic. You wrecked your car. Oh no. We will try again. It's because I missed the uh, the turning. We will try again. I don't often fail at that. That's like the first time I've failed at that for a long time. Fuck's sake. 
Oh, you fucking arsehole. Okay. I think good there, didn't I? <laughs> right, third time lucky. Fuck! I'm failing in this one today. You know, that means, don't you? I'm definitely not getting this perk for that. I blame you, Cameron. Put me under pressure. Right. Okay. Right, this time. I'm lucky and we did it right now we've done it let's reset because we can't start select this game okay first time lucky always pays off all right what's next I've done four games so far I think Yep, we're on to our fifth game. Metal Gear is going to take a while, though. It always does. Um, okay, next up is... Gran Turismo. Ah, here we go. So I need to get a perfect lap. No wall collisions, apparently. Um, if it doesn't, if I don't do it here, I gotta do it in Ridge Racer Type Four. Mm -mm -mm. Take it a minute. There we go. Mm -mm. Obi da Zubabu.
going to attack today. Oh shit, no! Oh. Okay, well, I failed that one. It's close, but. Okay, let's go back to the demo screen, start select. Start select. Come on, send me back. There we go. Alright, what is next? IS is Pro 98. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's this one. But the ball sounds a bit. This is spread around well. <laughs> Superb passing play. Ah. Where the hell were you going there? All right, mate. <laughs> wow. Oh. He slides in for possession. That should be oh. What did I get there? A fucking red! Oh shit! Who will take the kick? Wow! Got the ten peeps. Oh dear! Yeah, we won't watch that. What the fuck? Oh! I got a yellow for that one. The goalkeeper is organising his defence. The ball distribution is good. <laughs> Dirty boys. Go on. No. no. Ah oh, shit! I'm gonna get a booking for that. Yeah. The referee has blown for a free kick. A neat headed pass. A dangerous he slides in. He tries the shot. Well hit. Oh! It's a corner. No, don't shoot back at them. What are you doing? No! He's the shot. He's punched it out. The referee has blown for a corner. Can they make anything of this? He's punched it out. What? Hey. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> hit into the middle. Oh, hit. I fucking hate you. All right. All right. Yeah, take that. Great car for you. Oh no, yellow. Who will take the kick? Who will take the shot from here? I don't know. He feeds the ball forward. Good header. Hmm. 
Chad who tries the shot. He's picked up the loose ball. The ball distribution is good. Slides in for possession. Ah, oh, well, we lost 2 0. Oh no. Thank you for playing. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm just the best person in the world at that game. Totally. Okay. I think Metal Gear is next. Yep, it was. Okay, next up after ISS Pro was Metal Gear Solid. Oh, here we go. It's not that I don't like Metal Gear Solid, but I'm just kind of a little bit sick and tired of playing the long demo over and over again. It takes half an hour to get through it. Nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. You'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the president of ArmsTech, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake? The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support.
I am curious about that VR training though, but I don't know if we can click that. So maybe when we complete the demo, we'll have a quick gander at that. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Here we go. Now we just sit here for the minute, which is really, really annoying. Oh shit! Come on, Elevator. Yeah. Oh, why?
and he's made it somewhat interesting while we waited for the elevator. Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D? Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a train killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah, I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. 
The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip-searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip-search on me. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just not remember that soon right of free to come yet. <laughs> there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. Which means it'll be the second video there in a row five, where we play two raiders. Pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Alright, we well, now get to play. Surveillance camera? That base must have some kind of ventilation system to recirculate the air. There should be air ducts around there somewhere. They must need a lot of power to run the base. There's probably a diesel generator somewhere. And since generating electricity requires oxygen, there must be exhaust openings for that, too. You're not gonna believe this, but they shot down the F-16s we were using as a diversion with a Hein D. Then we got a message from Liquid. He said if we try something like that again, he'll launch the nuke. Snake, hurry up and get in there. That Hind will be coming back soon. All right, we're in the, uh, the vent.
Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? They've already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the Chief. Press the action button to drop down. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. elevator to move from floor to floor. To call the elevator, press the button on the nearby control panel by pressing the action button. The elevator
Ah, it's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. We get to the Dapper Chief and then we listen to quite a few minutes of audio and then the game ends. Then we will go and have a little quick look at this VR training if we can get into it. If we can't then we'll just go back. Snake, the DARPA chief's signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. We kind of already are in first person view mode, but okay. Save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're gonna save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be... You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes, 
Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psychomantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the PAL, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? And that is the end of the demo. Let's see if we can get into this VR training, shall we? I mean, no an option. Okay, can't do anything, so that is the end of that one. So, where's worth to look? So, uh, yeah. Phew! It takes so long to get through that one, though. Anyway, next up is Ridge Racer Type 4, my second chance at getting some Red Bull. This video could actually exceed 90 minutes. It's actually the longest demo I've done in quite some time. Welcome. Thank you.
Rage Racer Type 4 Grand Prix! Probably the same 5 minute time limit we've had before. Oh, good thing, thank you. Jeez. No! Oh, I just avoided it. Just, av just avoided it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll let Cameron review that one, but I'm pretty certain that was perfect. Um, I don't know if car collisions count, but if they do, then damn, but... That was perfect. Hopefully just. Considering that I had a few close calls, but there you go. You're very drip happy today, aren't you, G? Only got a minute left on the demo. Okay, well, that was definitely a collision. Damn. There you go.
I'll start select because we don't need to see a replay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, analyze the second lap, Cameron. I'm pretty certain that was perfect. Um, I was very close to hitting the wall though. Gee. All right, next up, taking three. This one we will do. We'll do three fights. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. The players Exayu first, and then we'll go for Eddie. Exayu versus Paul. Round one. Fight. Sit down. Round two. Fight. Uh. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Wow, okay. Gee, he just went on a mad one on it. round. Fight. Shit. Oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Nice. You win. All right. Eddie versus Exayu. Round one, fight! Wummy. <laughs> Round two, fight! <laughs> Yeah, baby. Ooh. You win. Not bad. We'll play as Eddie again. Eddie versus Lay. Last match, and then we'll move on. 
Round one. Fight. <laughs> Okay. We know what's last. Last thing on the disc, I think. Yeah, last thing on the disc is Tomb Raider 3. And we have to reset, apparently. I don't think you do, but. We shall see. He's hoping for a. Uh, well, let's see how far we get. We probably will go to maximum 20 minutes because we know how long this one goes. I think it'll just throw us right in, won't it? Yeah. Alright. Guns, there we go. I'm going to go back and get this medic pack. Does the analog work? No, it does not. I'm going to try and get further this time on this, because, you know, I get to the same spot every time and I just get lost and then, you know, I just, that's it, I just can't, I've never been able to successfully complete this demo. I can complete Tomb Raider 1 and 2, but I can't seem to complete this one. I'm going to wait for that to come one more time before I... Go, 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 go. All right. And jump. There we go. I'm making it every time now. That's good. I'm not sure why I couldn't make it, like, earlier on. But, like, when I played demos around about the first time. Like, early. Late. Uh, late. Oh, God. Now. Like, late 2023, early 2024. But I couldn't. 
just get by that bit for some reason. I just sucked. Just gonna use a medic pack. There you go. Bloody hell, that took loads of health off me, why? What's that? Ooh. I never saw that. I have a shotgun now. I got some shells. I have a shotgun now. I never line myself up properly with these. There we go. Da, 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 da. Cool. What's through here? Oh, there's a medic pack in here. Well, that's how I need to know. Free medic pack. Ooh. Okay. Wait, what was that through there? One sec. Oh, it's in here. I must see. Anything? Oh, just more shotgun shells. Oh, okay. Oh, there's something else there as well. Huh. I need to know. I thought I saw, like, an extra bit through there. Camera's a bit wobbly today, but never mind. This is actually the second video in a row where we play some Tomb Raider 3. So, aren't you guys lucky? Probably not because I suck, but you know, it could be worse. Ah, oh, fuck.
Okay. I'll right, we'll play for 10 more minutes at most and then we'll call it a day. So I think, I know we can't get through here. So we've opened this door now. Now last time, I climbed up somewhere and I glitched through. Whether I was supposed to do that or not, I don't know. We'll try it again. First, I'm going to go to this platform here. Just to see if there was anything here that I could be worth. Oh, okay. Gonna be a little bit weary of health. Yeah, because I got up to here last time and then it just glitched through, didn't I? Yeah, like that. Right, I don't want to walk off like I did last time. And then jump. I glitched through here as well. I don't think you were supposed to, but yeah. Right, let's go around. Aha. Hey. Alright, now we're talking. Wait. Oh, we've got to dive down. Oh. Okay, I need a flare for this. Because I can't see shit. If I glitch the game, oh no, I've glitched the game. I've done this before where you get the flare out and it just locks Lara in position, you can't move anywhere. Hold on, let me try getting another flare out again. Oh, I didn't actually deploy the flare, hang on, let's try again. Oh no. Yeah, I can't move her now. She's confused. Yeah, I'm stuck. I can't move. Uh, what the fuck? I can't even quit either. Okay, well, I can't go any further, guys. Um, literally, it doesn't move now. I'm pressing the D-pad, pressing the buttons. I can open my inventory. I can mess about with the camera, but I can't go any further. So I guess, um, well, 
At least we know where we can get to if we ever play Tomb Raider 3 again, but unfortunately it doesn't seem as though we will be able to play any further because the game's glitched. Always fun, so we won't be making it to 100 minutes, but oh well. Anyways, guys, that was the best PlayStation games ever, SCED 02327, the first of the nine that was released by official UK PlayStation magazine. So, yeah, pretty decent selection, not too bad, uh, lots of good games on here. Um, if you guys are interested as well, I've just put up on my eBay um, a mega bonus, or not mega bonus, a mega bundle of uh, demo discs featuring Euro demos, stations, essential and other rare demo discs. Uh, the starting bid is at £60 at the minute and it will end in five days from the video's upload, so it will probably end about the 7th of September. So if you're over 18 and you have an eBay account, um, feel free to go over and, uh, well, if you're interested in owning some demos, uh, the opportunity's there. Um, there's quite a few demos on there. If you see my item description, you can see um, which ones I've got. And there's a lot on here. I think there's about 30 or 40 demos, roughly. Uh, don't know the exact number, but I think it's about 30, maybe 40, I don't know. I'm just roughly estimating, but yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy.